What is going on YouTube? Alright, so I'm Cody Flips for Trips and it's time for Week 12's haul video. What I bought from thrift stores, pawn shops, and garage sales to sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's get it started. <laughs> So I'm going to try to do a little quicker run through for my video process. I tried live and it didn't work out, so I'm about to just try to do a quicker run through. Let's go. So first talk about video games. I got this, this drum kit, these two dr guitars, and this whole box of games from a friend and sell them as a set. And then also included was the slim model. PlayStation 2. Now these slim models go for a little bit more than the original fat ones. But yeah, I picked all that up uh, from a friend for 75 bucks. Kind of gave what was fair for both of us. Then at a garage sale, picked up some HD DVDs. Just these are, are less common than Blu-rays. So I'll probably just lot them together and sell them on eBay. But I also got this John Wayne collection. This thing is new in the plastic. I might try to send this into Amazon. If not, if I'm not allowed, I'll put it on eBay. But that one's brand new. And I got some other games. And then this Lord of the Rings DVD set. I'm not sure how much any of this stuff goes for. I just got it really cheap. The only really noticeable, notable games I got out of that pile was Super Smash for the Wii U. And at that same garage sale, I got a bunch of shirts, a bunch of Harley Davidson shirts. So I got this one, the silver glitter one. And then I got these. These probably I probably need to wash them. But uh, this Harley Davidson one. I got this one. It's new with tags, but obviously you know it was stored somewhere where it's dirty. But just a cool. Harley Davidson shirt. It's got like chains, but a bunch of Harley Davidson shirts. Uh, I'm, I do pretty good with Harley Davidson shirts, especially like unique ones. Like I had a Cancun one that I recently just sold for like 25 bucks. So that's the goal is try to sell these for, you know, $18 and up. Even though it doesn't uh, meet my criteria that I want, I got them for super cheap at a garage sale. I knew the person I was getting them from, so kind of just gave them more money than they probably would have gotten from somebody else, but less money that I would typically pay at a, at a pawn shop or, I mean, a, at a thrift store if they were to just come out. But Durango, got this Harley Davidson one with the Eagles. Got another Harley Davidson Republic shirt. But just a bunch of Harley Davidson shirts. Then I also got, like, this old... Batman like vinyl bag the Dark Knight it, it's a, it's you know a vintage bag but uh, I'm not sure what that goes for but then I got a lot of coach purses so these all have like the signature print on them and you know she did tell me this is from the same person I knew she did tell me that these were the coaches that were real but these are in really rough shape so I'll probably just lot them together for somebody maybe to buy them and and give them a, a rehab or you know clean them up or maybe just cut them up and use what they want to from them on other pieces you know some crafters like to do that apparently picked up this wool rich nice vintage wool rich fleece as well as this vintage mickey mouse print shirt so that should probably sell for really good and at one garage sale, I picked up this shirt. Now, this brand, Terramar, is like an outdoors brand. So these are supposed to be uh, like good shirts for hiking, backpacking the outdoors. This is an extra large, so I might keep that one and throw, an, throw one out of my closet. And then this Carhartt uh, short sleeve button up shirt. Man, I've been buying a lot of clothes lately just because I'm getting them for dirt cheap. So. It's good inventory filler. They sell for good money. Uh, but yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. Uh, Nike golf shirt since summer is coming up. 
you know, all of your, your golfing type performance polos are gonna sell pretty good. And then this uh, Columbia, older Columbia jacket. And then I got this pair of, of Tony Llama boots. These are like a lizard or snake skin on there. They do have a little wear, but they're not bad. They're not too bad. We yeah, had a nice pair of Toy Llama boots. I got these for three bucks at a garage sale. I got this vintage speak and spell with the little manual. I haven't tested it yet, don't show if it works. But if it does, you sell for good money, like 30 to 40 bucks. And I got this for cheap. The lady just said a dollar, I gave her two dollars for it because I thought it, it might be go for more. This one is not going to go for as much as I thought it would, but it's a vintage Ronald McDonald doll from the 70s. It's missing the whistle, apparently. There's supposed to be a whistle on this that goes in its mouth. So, you know, it'll still worth it. I paid two bucks for it. I'll make a little money on it. It'll be a good return on investment, but it doesn't meet my criteria uh, because it's missing the whistle, but it's still... We'll sell for okay money. I took a chance on these things. These are three vintage soaps and they all are like hand carved. They're like hand carved soaps. So I'm not sure if uh, you know what these go for but I just thought this might be one of those things and I got these for 30 cents so I'm going to lot them all together as the hand carved soaps and then see what they sell for. I got three pull sticks and I got this Budweiser one and then this one. They had one more there but it didn't look too special but this one kind of looks cool with the handle on it. You know it's a, from Sears Roebuck and Company so obviously a vintage pull stick. They all were good. A good way to test to see if a pull stick's not warped. You just roll it along a flat surface. If it rolls fine, then the stick is still good. And the other one I got was this one. Which is like made out of, it's like a carbon fiber uh, pull stick. This thing is like pretty light. The brand is, or it's a uh, graphite. Harvard graphite. So I'm not sure what these sell for. I know some pull sticks can be really good money. So I just picked them all up for like five bucks a piece. And uh, I do like shipping or you know buying and selling golf clubs. So I have golf club boxes. So I can probably just cut those in half or, uh, or cut them to where I need them to to put the pull sticks in. At another garage sale I got some vintage or uh, pennants. So this is you know from Disneyland's the Main Street Electrical Parade. That one's pretty sweet. Then we have this Harlem Globetrotters one. So I've done okay with some pennants, but you know these were pretty cool. And then obviously this Houston Astros one with the Astrodome on there. So you know some old pennants like old collegiate pennants. Man, type in vintage like college pennants and look at some of the old old ones that they have available available and they go for ridiculous money these aren't too old but they're still like vintage enough that i think they go for really good money they're all in really good shape too so that'll be nice with the graphics on them and then from that same garage so i got those at i got this old et poster now this thing was a mcdonald's you know, this was hung, this is something to do with McDonald's, so I'm not sure, but it has the 1985 date on there. So this is an original ET poster. I'm not sure what this will go for, but I thought that was pretty sweet. And again, you know, I paid like a dollar for it or 50 cents for that. I paid 10 bucks for this one. So this is a Nolan Ryan framed picture, and it is signed. The only bad thing about it is it doesn't have. Uh, a COA or certificate of authenticity or anything like that but I think still like this with it being signed and I can you know obviously uh, make it known that on the listing that it's you know there's not a COA 
but it looks signature looks okay uh i think this was probably signed at a game you can tell you know that this was probably folded up signed at a game and then they had it framed you might want to stay away from stuff without the coa i i just took a chance on it and i'll see what i'll get for it but i paid 10 bucks for it if it doesn't sell i'll just hang it up in the room i have another uh nolan ryan nolan ryan picture over there that is pretty sweet actually i'll show you so this is the nolan ryan picture that my dad has that I have hung up. So this is him with Ventura in a headlock, and it's kind of funny because it says, uh, or Robin Ventura, Robin Ventura, the only man to get five hits off of Nolan Ryan in a game, and it says parentheses in the face. So that's kind of funny. But see, what this one has the certificate of authenticity. Most of them will have it on the back, but that's just a really cool piece. At a garage sale, I picked up this Harley Davidson mug. It kind of has like a tiki handle to it, but you know, I, I like mugs. They're easy to ship for me. I have boxes that are, you know, the size of, I have small boxes. So I think this should sell. This is from, oh, it doesn't have a date on there, but it'll definitely sell. I just don't know how much for. Starbucks mugs again, they're amazing. And then I got these, I got these beer taps. Now beer taps, if you get them for cheap, sell really good. I got this one for three because it's kind of cracked up and I got all these for five. But I always buy beer taps if they're a good price because my brother collects them. So anytime I see a good deal on beer taps, I'll buy them and I give them to him essentially. Uh, so these are ones that I got for to give to my brother. This Bass Ale, nothing crazy, but like just real basic ones, Amber Bach and the Blue Moon. But yeah, these are all gonna go to him. I got another phone call from the race car driver, Mr. Foyt's house. So I went back over there. He got some more stuff down from the attic that I ended up picking up. I picked up this, uh, it's like a makeup mirror. It's like magnifies your face really well, has a little light built in. Uh, I, I know some of these go for really good money, so I just picked it up, got it for cheap. But I got some more vintage hats and t-shirts. So I'll do a quick run through. We got... Like this vintage Ducks Unlimited hat from 1997. This vintage John Deere hat, new with tags. Now the bad thing with a lot of these old trucker hats is the foam on the inside will start to like disintegrate because they're so old. But what you can do is you can just kind of rub it all off and let all the old foam fall out, wipe it down with a wet towel. And this, just explain that in your listing that you know, this, this one's foam did go bad, but you cleaned it out. Then we have a uh, new with tags. Spurs 1999 Champions hat. So that will sell really well. We have this one, Elmo's Gym. That one's kind of pretty funny uh, hat. Then we have... You know, some more of the fishing hats that I showed last time. This Sun Racing uh, Racing Engines hat. A Lukenbach Texas hat. It's kind of cool. And then another new with tags, Rockets 1994 Champions hat. And this one's by, uh, it's just an NBA product. But it was nine bucks at the drugstore back in 1994 so so I got some more vintage hats and I just picked a few out those are kind of all the ones that I got and then I got some shirts from them and I'm just gonna pick through some of the shirts that I got from them like uh, like this one from the 1977 Gator Nationals race event so it's a National Hot Rod Association event, but that's pretty uh, cool from 1977. I got this one, which is the 1989 second annual drag race event. And I got, let's see, uh, it's like a gallery furniture promo, but an old vintage rocket shirt. You can kind of see that. 
so that should sell pretty good and then this old like we support our troop shirt which you see a lot but this one is from operation desert storm with kind of the four branches of the military down there i'm just going to try to go through a bunch of or just quick pick out a quick few of these shirts that are kind of cool then we have this one what is this uh this one's from 2008, but it's from the Dickies 500. So, that one's nothing crazy. And this is like a, a old shirt for like a radio station, but I like the I like the woman on there, the grandma. I think somebody would like that shirt. We'll <laughs> see. For like 20 bucks, somebody will probably buy that. And then he had a bunch of... He had a bunch of like t-shirts that were still brand new in the plastic, which includes, like this is from the Harris 500. But he has like one, of the, I have one of these from the 1975. It's Indy National, it's a hot rod association. But 1975 shirt still new in the plastic. So that should probably sell very well. And this old, old faithful in shirt. So it's kind of cool from Yellowstone National Park, just a vintage shirt. And then, you know, for if that's my hat, you know, the inaugural game, well, I found the shirt to match it now. So that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I might add this one, I might keep this one. Just because it matches the hat that I wear a lot. But probably my favorite shirt that I got from him is this like 1980s Beavis and Butthead shirt. Look at how awesome that thing is. Man, that will sell super fast for like 50 bucks all day long. But that was definitely by far the best shirt that I liked out of that stuff. As well as the, the new uh, 1975 like indie shirts that are still in the plastic. Oh, and then there's also this shirt from, you know, the 84 Indy Nationals event. But this one's kind of cool because, you know, this one says this was a participant. So, obviously, you don't find those as often. So, I did stop by Goodwill once this week. And I got a few things. on thing really we're talking about that is will sell for really good money is this vintage L.L. Bean jacket. So... You know, but this one is vintage, has a great print on it, that Aztec design, in really good shape. I think this thing will sell for like anywhere from 75 to 100 bucks. But yeah, I paid 10 bucks for it. Should sell it for 75 to 100. Meets my criteria all day long. And the last two things I wanna mention in the haul video, is I picked up some more magic erasers. These things are amazing. They'll get Sharpies off of video game cases. They will uh, you know, get a bunch of stuff off of a bunch of things. Magic erasers are your friend in the reseller world. And another haul that I got was I got some boxes. And I got a bunch of like 500 of these little bitty bags. These are bubble mailers. And this is what I use for like my little Nintendo DS games or Game Boy games. I put them in these for Amazon and put the Amazon label on these packages. And that's how I handle those. And it makes it nice uh, buying a bunch of them. And I also bought a bunch of cardboard boxes that I need because it helps obviously with shipping things on, on eBay, but then also packaging things for Amazon because you want a box that fits the items just right I don't like dumpster diving for boxes just because I like to buy boxes the same size so when I have an item I know I can just grab the box I need and when you dumpster dive a lot of those boxes you have to take the time to break them down cut them up to me it's not worth the time to do that I'd rather just buy the boxes have them set up take up smaller space and uh, and run my business that way but yeah, that's that's the quick haul video from this past week. 
And I you know, appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, or comment down below with what you liked about the video. Uh, if you want to know anything I used to make these videos, those are in the links down below as well. And appreciate you watching. Thanks, and gig them.